to make a really special candy and it's called copycat seas bordeaux chocolate candy and i grew up on these and this is a tin that i purchased at seas about a year ago and the colors are black and white that's their theme and um, this is their bags how they come well i grew up with this candy um, seas candy has been around since 1921 and my family, uh, we've always lived near AC's Candy, and so we've always um, got them every year. Um, they're they're year round. Um, my mom is older now, and that's what we get her for holidays, uh, like at Christmas time and Mother's Day, and she just really loves them. And so today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, copycat Bordeaux. And what you're going to need is you're going to need some little cups, candy cups. And um, I purchased these on Amazon, but I saw that they have them at um, the dollar store. Uh, not the classic brown ones, but different colored ones. So um, this particular candy is really rich. And it's made with all pure good ingredients like cream, uh, brown sugar, butter, all wholesome ingredients. And so I'm excited about making this candy because it's been a classic and a traditional candy that we've all had our whole lives. So um, my siblings uh, also buy my mom uh, sees candy for holidays. All of us have kind of come down to that besides flowers on Mother's Day. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you like candy, this is really a top-notch type. So thanks for watching. These are all the ingredients that you're going to need to make this candy. Uh, for the actual fondant, you're going to use butter, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and um, heavy cream. And so for the coating, you're going to need uh, 10 to 12 ounces of either milk chocolate or dark chocolate. I'm using the semi-sweet because I prefer that. And you're also going to have some chocolate sprinkles. So. Instead of using paraffin, we're using coconut oil, which I just discovered can be used, and it's, it's so much better. So for the, um, the fondant, you're going to have a cup of brown sugar, you're going to have a, a quarter cup of cream and a half a cup of butter, and then we're going to use two cups of powdered sugar. Now you want to take out all your little candy cups and put them out. It's going to make about 24, about two dozen. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a heavy bottom pot, and this is my candy pot. You're going to put a half a cup of butter, and you're going to melt that, and then you're going to add your cup of brown sugar. But I'm going to melt the butter first. I find it's quicker and easier to melt this first, and then add the brown sugar and melt them together. And then after you melt them, you bring it up to kind of a boil for two minutes. So the butter's melted, now I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar. And now I'm going to melt the brown sugar until it's totally dissolved and mixed in with the butter. And then I'm going to bring it to like a medium high and you're going to boil it gently for about two minutes. So I'm bringing up the temperature now to like a medium high. And I'm going to set the timer once it starts boiling for two minutes. So here you've reached your gentle boil. And now we're going to set the timer for two minutes, and I am going to stir it while it's boiling. So this is what your uh, butter and sugar should look like after two minutes. It's thickened, and now you want to turn it down and add your quarter cup of cream right at this point. And now you'll turn it up a little bit again and let it kind of boil for 30 seconds, not very long. Okay, it's been 30 seconds now that you just cooked that milk just very lightly. Now we're going to remove it and let it cool for 10 okay, this minutes. This is the brown sugar with cream and butter that's all been sitting for 10 okay. minutes now. Now we're going to gradually add our powdered sugar in after waiting 10 minutes for this uh, brown sugar, milk, and butter to cool. And you just want it to cool about 10 minutes, not any longer than that. And then you're going to gradually add your powdered sugar into this mixture. And you want to do it gradually until it's all smooth and mixed together. All 
and I can smell it smells delicious you can smell the buttery brown sugar and like I said C's candy has it doesn't have a bunch of preservatives it's all fresh ingredients that's what I really like about this candy and I never recognized it until I was older that all the ingredients are fresh so we're almost done everything's mixed together now so now in order for this uh, candy fondant to be firm enough to roll into balls we're going to refrigerate this for two hours so I'll see you in two hours. Here's our fondant after two hours in the refrigerator. So here's our fondant. It can be a little harder, but it won't take long when you squeeze on it to soften it enough to, to roll them in balls. So sometimes your refrigerator might be colder and it might be a little harder, but once you put it in your hands, it'll start softening up. So this is what you're doing. You're just rolling them in little balls. And I would say, uh, maybe a small walnut size Not real big. You want them to be able to fit in your little cups. Okay, so this recipe makes like basically a dozen of these candies now I have 28 and the reason is because there are a few That are a little smaller, but they're all pretty even so now we're going to put this in the freezer for 10 minutes So while your um, candy is in the freezer you want to get a tablespoon of coconut oil and 10 to 12 ounces of chocolate chips. You can either do uh, milk chocolate or you can do uh, dark chocolate. I'm doing uh, dark chocolate. And you're gonna melt this in a double boiler until it's nice and smooth. And that should be just a few minutes. And then you also wanna get your chocolate sprinkles and put them in a little uh, bowl because we're going to be dipping these candies. After we dip them in chocolate, we're gonna dip them in these sprinkles. That's the Bordeaux way. So here you are, you're gonna let this all melt together and stir it till it's totally smooth. Okay, here's our chocolate that we just melted. See how shiny that is? And it's smooth. That's how the coconut uh, oil makes it. Nice and smoothy with the sheen. So now we're gonna dip our chocolate. Ways you can do that. You can take a big tall skewer like this and dip it in just like this and kind of roll it. This is a, a pretty good device to use and then you kind of get the chocolate where it's kind of like this kind of turn it around and then what you're going to do is you're going to dip it in the chocolate sprinkles just like this and you can use your hands also and that's what a Bordeaux looks like when you when you open up the box of chocolates and you get it like a different variety that's what it'll look like now that's one way to do it or you can just take your hand like this and kind of dip it and it is a little hot and then you can go back over here and do that, however you want. You might find it easier to just use your hands as long as you don't burn them in this hot chocolate. So that's how you do it. You just dip it in here like that. And they're, they're not real pretty, but it doesn't matter. They're gonna taste delicious. So again, you can use your hands. You can use a toothpick, a skewer, whatever you wanna use. And just dip it like this and put them on parchment paper or wax paper on a pan to uh, set as soon as you're done. By the way, I never said this wouldn't be not messy. It is messy, but it's a fun kind of messy where you got chocolate everywhere. So be prepared that whenever you're making homemade chocolates and you're dipping, you're gonna have a mess. So it's all here. Here's my mess. It's everywhere. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these chocolates in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes and that'll hold them. Then we can put them in their little uh, okay, wrapper. These were in the freezer 15 minutes, so they are definitely set. So I'm gonna take them and put them in their little candy wrappers and put them in what I'm going to use. Instead of a tray, I'm gonna have this little tin. And you can see they're nice and hard. You just pick them up, put them in here and now they're set, and these will keep a couple of weeks. Um, just keep them in here, and, and what you wanna do, if you wanna save them for a while, you put them like in a Tupperware or some kind of plastic container. Um, you are supposed to dip the whole chocolate. 
When I was first showing you, I didn't dip them all, but they are all supposed to be dipped on both sides. So I'm going to finish these and then we'll taste one. Okay, here's our finale. They turned out really good. And now let's give one a try. Mm. They are a little hard because I just took them out. And so they've been sitting out maybe five minutes. But they have their very own flavor and consistency with the little chocolate sprinkles on them. And like I said earlier, when you open up a box of like a variety of C's candy, you will always know the Bordeaux's. Some of them are uh, horizontal, some of them are round, but they all have chocolate sprinkles on them. So if you like candy and you've never tried C's, or even if you have tried C's, it's a really delicious quality candy. And these are really inexpensive to make and absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you give these a try.